Canada Goose reported a revenue of $1.2 billion, which is an 11% increase from the previous fiscal year. The gross profit grew by 8% to $179.5 million. The gross margin for the quarter expanded primarily due to a higher proportion of direct-to-consumer channel sales, pricing strategies, and favorable product mix, partially offset by the higher product cost due to higher input cost inflation and freight and duty charges. Canada Goose, the ultimate symbol of warmth and style in freezing temperatures, has taken the fashion world by storm. But why is it so darn expensive? And why do people keep clamoring for it? Like it's a lost lifeline on a polar expedition. Let's dive into the epic saga of Canada Goose's rise to outerwear supremacy. It all started over 60 years ago when Sam Tick established a factory in 1957 known for producing exceptionally warm clothes with excellent craftsmanship. Fast forward to the 1970s, and Sam Song gave the family business a facelift, rebranding it as Canada Goose, and introduces a machine that significantly improved production quality by filling the dawn. Enter Sam's grandson, Danny Rees, the visionary who took Canada Goose under his wing in the 1990s. Despite facing chilly receptions from North American retailers, Danny boldly set his sights on Europe, where folks has the perception of Canada as a cold country, so Canada winter clothes must be good and can protect humans from cold weather. The European love affair with Canada Goose began. But wait, there's more. Canada Goose didn't just sit pretty in the wardrobe. It made its Hollywood debut on cold weather film sets and strutted down the red carpet at film festivals courtesy of Reese's savvy sponsorship deals. Then, in 2013, Kate Upton graced the cover of Sports Illustrated in a Canada Goose Paca, catapulting the brand into a spotlight faster than you can say frostbite. With Bing Capital's backing, Canada Goose spread its wings globally, nesting in major cities and even going public in 2017 with a dual listing in New York and Toronto. But what sets Canada Goose apart isn't just its flashy logo, it is the tactical prowess behind each jacket. Known for enduring temperatures as low as negative 30 Celsius and adorned with animal fur trim, predominantly coyote fur, Canada Goose jackets boast standardized fell powers ranging from 625 to 800 with the most luxurious pockets featuring an 800 fill power of head right down. Crafted from Arctic Tech, a blend of polyester and cotton with a durable water-repellent finish, the outer material ensures both style and resilience. Sure, other brands may boast warmer jackets or fancier features, but Canada Goose has something they don't, an unbeatable aura of luxury and prestige. And that, my friends, is why even a hefty price tag, people are willing to brave the elements just to snag one. After all, who need worms when you have got a style this hot?